fighting laryngitis. Can it be done? Is there really a cure? In this week's video, like I've never done before, I'm going to show you how I beat laryngitis and you get to make fun of me for all the mistakes that I made along the way. <laughs> Including this wardrobe choice that I made for this week's lesson. Look like a park ranger. I gotta go change. Let's cue that intro! I could blame it on it being laundry day or me not having mirrors in the house, but <laughs> they both would be lies. Hello and welcome back to my channel for this week's video. Friends, I have never ever done a video like this before my channel because it's a documentary style thing that I have going on here. While in the process I thought if I could show people how I fight laryngitis, how I might have found a cure or at least a way to help you guys immensely. I'm going to document it. So that's what this week's lesson's about. And I think you'll find it amusing along the way because I made so many mistakes. To be fair and honest and upfront as I always try to be with you guys, I am going to give you these methods. And they are probably going to work for you too if you need quick results to get your voice back. Whether you're a singer, whether you're a public speaker, an MC, however you want to use the voice. If it's like paramount for you to get your voice back, in a timely manner, then these will probably work for you too. However, I have to be honest with you, it's probably going to take a toll and cripple your voice afterwards, like it did for me. Well, obviously I have my voice right now, so it's not like crippling your voice is going to be the, the end of your voice. You'll never be able to use it again. It's not like that. But I wanted to be honest in the fact that it's probably going to regress before I can get back to fully functioning your normal voice health if that makes any sense. If you've never had laryngitis before, consider yourself lucky. But I'm gonna assume that you probably have it right now, that's why you're watching this video. Or maybe you're looking for some preventative methods, and that's awesome too. So I'm gonna jump right into the methods that I use in this documentary style video, but before I do that, I have to tell you a little background to give you t the context, otherwise this isn't gonna make any sense. I wrote a book a couple years back called How to Sing When You're Sick, and let me tell you, the universe has some pretty interesting ways of testing me and my methods in this book. I wrote the book because I used to get sick a lot and lose my voice a lot, and I've been singing just about my whole life. I wanted answers. Traditional methods didn't really work for me. So I tried just about anything and everything you could think of to see what really worked. That was pretty much a guinea pig. While it wasn't the best news for me to try all these different methods, it's actually terrific news for you because in this book I distilled it down for what methods worked and probably will work for you too. But man, let me tell you, last December I was gigging out a lot, I was performing a lot, and I got laryngitis. Now, I had this MCing event coming up and I needed to use my voice obviously to MC, so I woke up one day, the day of the event and I had no voice without any warning and that sometimes can happen with laryngitis. So what you're going to see in this video is me waking up on the day of the emceeing event having hardly no voice and going from hardly no voice to a functioning voice in a mere three hours. And you're going to see the stuff, the mistakes that I made afterwards which crippled my voice. You see the methods that I use in my book work but for laryngitis it's the trickiest. When you wake up the same day and have no voice and use the methods, it can worsen them later on. So it's kind of like a football player who gets a cortisone shot when his like, leg is really hurting him. So he can continue on with the game, but the repercussions after the game make it so much worse. Aha, that's why I gave you the warning, because you're probably thinking like, worsening the voice, why am I listening to this guy? Why am I still watching this video? Well, if you're, say, a singer, you know that the show must go on. And unless you're on your deathbed, you have to figure out a way to get your voice in working shape by showtime. So what you're about to see is a documentary style video of what I did to fight laryngitis. Some stuff worked, but a lot didn't. So I started to film because I wanted to show everyone that was skeptical of the methods in my book that I practiced what I preached. All right, you ready? Let's go back one year ago from today, almost to the date. December 11th, 
2016, where I wake up without a voice on a day I'm supposed to MC an event. All right, so it's uh, Sunday, December 11th, and uh, woke up without a voice. <clears throat> so um, I have to, I'm not singing today, but I have to um, speak because I'm actually trying to uh, promote the sales of a Long Island Christmas album. So I will have a microphone, but it's not going to really help when you're not you know, it's going to project pretty much this, what you're hearing now. So, um, I'm going to be going through the ritual of um, the stuff that I put in my book, How to Sing When You're Sick. So, um, hopefully, I will have my voice back, at least a, a working condition, at least in working condition, in uh, only a few hours. And look, wait, I'll show you. Just to show you. Let's see, it's uh, 8.14, Sunday, December 11th. Let's do this. Okay, here we are. Driving to the venue. This is definitely something that is, uh, I've never done before, but I wanted to show everybody what I do. So, first thing. I'm gonna stop talking because I need to uh, restore and preserve as much as I can of my voice. So here I am. I'm about to um, use my voice and project. It's much louder. It's much better. It still breaks up, but um, it's a voice. It's something that I can use and communicate with, something that we need as singers, presenters, speakers, MCs. And just to show you, uh, it is 10.31. So in just a couple hours, maybe three hours, I was able to get it and nurse it from practically no voice to what you're hearing now. So, it seems like a success story, right? I win. I had no voice practically, nursed it back to a functioning voice, and did the gig. However, this is just the beginning, because the darkest days lie ahead. When after the gig, the very, very next day, after I emceed, I had no voice. None whatsoever. And I started posting about it, saying, oh man, I lost my voice, blah, blah, blah. And of course, friends and family saying, oh, I know a good book you could buy. <laughs> yeah, all right. So I was out to prove that not only did I get my voice back to the gig, I can get it back again because I had a singing gig coming up in only a short amount of time. And I needed my voice back. Now more than ever, I wanted to prove that this stuff worked. So... The next few videos you're going to see are the days leading up to the next gig I had, which I had to sing and play piano for. First time I'm trying to talk since yesterday because I went to bed. I'm so pissed. <laughs> so pissed. But I'm going to try my hardest to... <laughs> I don't even know if you can hear me. Try my hardest to cut this in half or more. So I start with nutrition. Good healthy nutrition is good for vocal health. So I actually cook up a dozen eggs, whole eggs, and eat them throughout uh, the next few days. So I cook it in a big wok. Whole eggs as opposed to egg whites are really, really good for you. It's like a multivitamin per egg. Um, and unlike Rocky Balboa, I don't eat this all in one shot. I eat it throughout the course of four days, so it's like three eggs uh, per serving, plus I throw in all these healthy vegetables. I have um, spinach and zucchini in there, throw chickpeas in, some onions, and um, 
some ham chunks as well. And that's the final product, a nice colorful mix. No, that's not alcohol, it's actually cranberry juice. Okay, day number six. It's been a crazy week. Um, I actually lost my voice yesterday, almost to back where it was in the first day where I had absolutely no voice. It was there, but it was very weak, and I think it's because I pushed it. So, um, should I be speaking to you now? I feel like I'm okay. I rested it all day yesterday. Again, I had to cancel all my voice lessons. Um, I actually tried a few different things today than I did last couple days, including uh, some more throat coat and a few more hits with the VIX personal steam inhaler. So throat coat is um, a tea that I made for myself right now and I use it quite often especially when the, the throat is fatigued in any way. This is a great great tea to use. Uh, so I just boiled some water, added a little bit of honey and um, that's what I've been drinking right now. So what's the plan? I mean, the, the big plan for me right now, this is day five or six, day six. Day six that I've been on vocal rest. And um, I need to get back to singing as quickly as possible, talking as quickly as possible. So this is definitely a good thing that I'm able to have a voice right now. Um, Technically, I'm not supposed to talk or use my voice for another week, but um, I really hope that I don't have another setback like I did yesterday and that I can report back to you in the next few days to say, hey, everything's good. I still have my voice and I've begun to sing a little bit. So that's the end goal, just to get back as quickly as possible. So make sure you try using throat coat and adding a little bit of honey to that. And thank you for the message, throat coat. I hope I'm well soon enough, and you too. Hydration is so important. Your vocal health is a reflection of your current health overall and how your body is. So staying hydrated will keep the voice hydrated. And this is a lot of water that I drank throughout the days to make sure that I was staying hydrated and I hope the green activists out there aren't gonna get mad at me. This is just a demonstration of showing you how much I could drink. Every little bit counts. Ah, damn it. Day seven. Voice is good. I used it a lot yesterday. Towards the end of the day, it was breaking up on me. I was with family, it was a Sunday, so uh, a lot of laughs and conversations so um i definitely used it more than i had all week during this whole process of vocal healing so uh but today it feels good and i'm able to hum i'm able to sing things in a lower octave i'm just trying it out i shouldn't really be singing still um but it's good to know that you know, I'm able to do what I can today with my voice. So, um, good to know, seven days into vocal rest, with all the preparation and, vo um, not exercises, but um, things that I've been doing for the voice have been leading me to this, good and bad. Gargling with salt water. A lot of people actually use too much salt, so take one cup of water, one teaspoon of salt, and then throw it back and gargle. Clean out that throat. I know that you probably already know how to do that, but a lot of people use like two tablespoons of salt or something ridiculous like that. You don't want to uh, use too much. And then, of course, chase it with some honey. A teaspoon of honey will do. A lot of people don't do that, but it's very, very soothing. Hey, back on the road back with my voice is it a hundred percent no but it's so much better than what it was I could actually have a conversation with someone and I'm attempting to teach today so out on the road and hopefully um, it's probably not the wisest thing to teach today but I wanted to test it out and of course document this for you guys so we'll see how it goes Wish me luck. 
Vix Personal Steam Inhaler. I highly recommend this product. It's such a great tool to use to get your voice back. I used it many times throughout the day and several days of just using this. Yeah, feeling much better today. Uh, the cough has been gone since Friday or Saturday. Voice is a lot stronger. I started to sing. Everything's kind of down an octave. I don't think I can hit above an F. I don't really have any uh, strong falsetto or head voice, but uh, that should come back real soon. So heading to lessons now and uh, feeling good about it. So we'll see what happens in the next couple of days. So here I am using the Vix Steam Inhaler again. It is such a great tool. I did a whole video on this product, so I'm gonna put that link below. So if you want one, um, you could pick up your own copy. I highly recommend that you do. It's so good. So today the voice is feeling the strongest it's been since I lost it. I did some, I was just singing along to a song on the radio right now and uh, it's strange. I feel the strength coming back but it is, it's like I'm singing through like cobwebs. It's, it's the strangest feeling. Um, this, there's a song called This Town that's out right now. Uh, I don't even know the name of the artist, my bad. Uh, but, uh, or the words, but it goes like, da 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 And I could hear, I could hear it. You probably hear it in more of a sustained note like, and oh, I don't even know if you could hear, but I feel this like weird vibration. And oh, oh. <clears throat> so it's coming back, and I'm happy about that. Uh, if I had to perform tonight, still couldn't do it. I mean, unless I sang everything probably an octave down, and then I probably have to lose my voice again. So definitely learning through this course of time that vocal rest really does mean vocal rest but this too shall pass and I'll be singing I have a, a my next performance is in two weeks so I should be good hopefully and just to prove to you that I was able to sing at that gig here's a short clip of me doing a song from that show and if you notice I'm not using I'm not going full out with my voice because it wasn't 100%, but I got it back enough to do the show, and that, my friend, is what it's all about. Check it out. So, if you are a singer, public speaker, or someone that really needs to know how to fight and beat laryngitis, then you need to get this book. Check this out. If you get How to Sing When You're Sick and you download it to your Kindle or your, your uh, phone like I have here or your tablet, you can, um, oh, my screen is cracked too, you can just go to the table of contents and pick one of these chapters and it'll take you right there. So say, um, you know, you need to know what... Uh, uh, throat coat is or all right you wake up sick two days two days before a show you click on that right here and it'll take you to uh, this chapter is after chapter three two days before you show what you to do uh, what you need to do and uh, it, it has everything broken down for you like that in case maybe even if to have the book on hand even if you're not gonna read it straight through and you click on what your ailment is and it will tell you exactly what I did and what worked for me. Remember, guinea pig. I will put the link below in the description box so you can get it. It's $7. It's a complete steal. I would pay hundreds of dollars if I could have avoid doing all these experimental methods to get my voice back. It's so valuable. I think it's, e it's an easy read. It's like under 50 pages. Check it out below. Thank you everybody for watching. I really like to know if you liked this type of a video. Because like I said, I never did this documentary style before. This how-to documentary style before. So if you want more of it, 
Not that I have a lot of footage laying around, but I could have certainly start taking some now for future how-tos. Let me know. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment below. And of course, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss a single video. Thank you very much. I will see you guys next week.